Uh, I've got no clue why I'm thrown out. <laughs> uh, basically what happened was Pasisala was talking. He was talking about the Muntri already answered uh, Kishan's question, why is Kishan still repeating the same thing? Uh, and then he went on to talk about Proton being a very worthwhile venture. So I stood up to ask two questions from Jelasan. Uh, one is that have the Menteri replied on who is uh, responsible for the 12.5 billion fiasco and what punishment is going to be taken. I also wanted to ask about uh, Proton, who is currently still making losses, and they were making losses even in good times, not just in bad times. So that's all I wanted to ask. I stood up, waited. Uh, there was no signal from Pasisala for me to sit down or that he wasn't going to give floor, so I waited for him to finish so that he can give me the floor to ask questions. Uh, and uh, then there was parts where you know the, 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 the people were just uh, laughing at some of his statements. Uh, and then the speaker suddenly just looked at me and said, uh, scolded me for standing up, uh, for, uh, for persisting in standing up uh, uh, when he didn't give floor. So I told the speaker, look, he didn't tell me he's not giving me the floor. The only thing I thought with the speaker was that Pase Salah hasn't told me he's not giving floor. If he's giving, not giving, uh, he's give, telling me that I'm not giving floor, I will sit down. But he hasn't told me that he's not giving floor. That's why I stood. Then he told me to sit down again uh, and scolded me for, 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 for standing. Uh, basically scolded me for standing. And I told the speaker, look, front speaker, if you ask me to do though, I will do though. But you don't scold me because I'm not in the wrong. No, do not, do not, do not reprimand me because I did nothing wrong. I just stood up and asked for clarifications, um, and and he got upset and just said "dudo." So I sat, I sat, and then he made some cryptic remarks. Uh, when I was sitting, he made some cryptic remarks about uh, uh, about uh, misbehaving aunties. Uh, I can't remember the exact words, but misbehaving aunties. So I stood up again to say that his statement was not fair. No, it was not fair on me because I did nothing wrong. I just stood up and asked for the last time. And he got unhappy with that and asked me out for the rest of the day. And I think from what you all can tell earlier, the whole Barisan National Backbench, while Kit was speaking, was making all sorts of noise, standing, making all sorts of shouting, without control from the speaker, and no punishment. All I did was stood up to ask the last and he chased me out. I was a witness. Was I was seated next to uh, Tony. Now, I think the speaker, one Junaidi, has made an error in his judgment. He victimized Tony because if he was aware that Tony was standing, minta laluan for penjelasan, what the speaker should have done is to ask who held the floor, that is Pase Salah, and ask Pase Salah, do you want to give way? One Junaidi, the speaker did not do that part. Bukan dia tak puas hati dengan apa keputusan saya. Ha, jadi apabila orang tak ikut arahan saya, saya tak ada cara lain. Saya tak nak bergaduh macam Bintulu, macam Bikinan Bertangan atau macam Paisa Salak bergaduh dengan orang di yang duduk, ahli yang berhormat yang duduk di situ. Itu perbezaan dia. Kena tahu perbezaan di antara arahan daripada speaker dan pergaduhan di antara ahli-ahli itu sendiri. Itu dua perkara yang berbeza. Ha, jadi apabila tiap-tiap ahli yang diberi arahan oleh speaker, speaker tahu orang bercakap, you tak boleh berdiri dalam dewan sebenarnya. Kalau dia berdiri sangat lama sangat, pasti tak lihat dia berdiri. Tak, tak beri peluang. Maksudnya dia tak nak beri peluang lah tu. Jadi saya suruh dia lihat. Jadi dia kata, saya tanya pasti salah. Bukan pasti salah punya kuasa. Saya punya kuasa masa duduk dalam dewan. Ha, itu penjelasan saya. Tadi Tony kata, uh, uh, Dato' kata bimai dia sebelum uh, anak tersal dia diperlukan. Dia sepatutnya dia mengetahui peraturan. Kalau speaker suruh dia duduk-duduk dulu. Apa tak duduk? Dia nak buat penjelasan dia sendiri. Tak perlu. Kena bila ada diarah dalam Dewan, kalau tak setuju dengan uh, arahan speaker, peraturan 43, peraturan diberi. Jadi kalau ahli Dewan tak mengetahui peraturan, belajar dululah.